What's up, Kirk Wynn here. Today we're gonna to turn a 2002 pop ballad into a more current TV film, dramatic movie, soundtrack, trailer kind of feel using only three instruments. Acoustic guitar, MIDI piano, and a synth that literally hangs on the same chord for 90% of the song. And yes, as you can see, or as you will see, I've jacked up my fingers since recording the music video part of this song, so I won't have this on there while I'm playing guitar, which I cannot do now. But stick around to the end of the video and I'll show you exactly how we built this track. Here is She Will Be Loved. Beauty queen of only 18, she had some trouble with herself. He was always there to help her. She someone else I drove for miles and miles and wound up at your door I've had you so many times but somehow I won't know I don't mind spinning
There it is, hope you liked it. Now let's go over the three elements that can take pretty much any song and make it a more dramatic, epic feeling using only a couple little things. One, repetitiveness, and two, simplicity. Keep it simple. U2, one of the most epic sounding bands ever. If you just dial, if you kind of look at their music, it's pretty straightforward, it's pretty simple. But it's just something about emotion, repetitiveness, simplicity. Just layer it all and just stack as much emotion around as you can. That's the key to building a epic song. So, the intro to this song, probably my favorite part, and there's a reason it works so well. It's because those three notes right there. And she will be loved. It's the first three chords, first three notes of the chorus, lyrically. And she will. So that's why it works in my opinion so well. You just keep repeating it. That's eighth notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's not enough room for three notes again, so you just do the first and the last. There's a technical name somewhere. I'll put it up there. So it just goes like this throughout pretty much 90% of the song. Then you just bring in the chords under it. You get the point. I'm not a great piano player. Number two, the progression in the pre-chorus is a one, two minor, six minor, four. If that means nothing to you, just think of the key of G. We're thinking about G, A minor, E minor, C. I'm playing an A. I do most of everything in the key of A. That is super lame, but it's, it is what it is. Here's A, one, two minor, six minor, four. That progression right there is in so many huge pop songs. There's something emotional about it too because it's moving forward. It's going from the one to the two. It's kind of kind of lifting. Works really well, so that I put that in the pre chorus. Um, I don't mind spending every day out on your corner in the pouring rain. Look for the girl with a broken smile, ask her if she wants to stay a while. So it's only used in that little section, but it just works so well right there because it builds up into that chorus that just kind of lifts, even though you're kind of going lighter. She will be loved. She so it just works anytime you want to build, anytime you want to just write any song to that progression right there and you'll be in good shape. And number three, really it has to do with the way you sing in a very dramatic kind of song. I'm not a great singer, good enough to get the point across hopefully, but the key, if you'll, you'll see this in movie trailers, even some commercials, is you'll hear a very famous song, some, a song that everybody knows. Just done in a very minor, kind of dark, very heavy kind of way. And I think that's the key term that we're looking for is heavy. You want to put weight into your vocals. Instead of tap on my window, knock on my door, I just want to make you feel beautiful. That's how we would probably do it if we were on the original recording 20 years ago. But this is a little bit more dramatic, heavy. Tap on my window, knock on my door I just want to make you feel beautiful Almost kind of lazy, but not really. Just, just feel the weight of sadness in your vocals. Even if you're not really sad, even if it's not a sad song, that's kind of where the epic emotion comes from. So the way you sing should feel like you're actually feeling something during your performance during the recording and then in this particular case the chorus has layers of harmonies and she will be loved and don't be afraid to mess around with octaves it was down here i don't mind spending every day out on your corner in the pouring rain look for the girl with the broken smile ask her if she wants to up an octave and she will be loved and she will be loved 
when you go up an octave or down an octave, that's another emotional shift. Add in some background vocals, do whatever you want with them, make it awesome, make it epic, make it feel like you're feeling some emotion. In my opinion, that's the three keys to making a song kind of epic. Hope you enjoy it. I'll be back very soon. See you later.